It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube and I understand life happens and I am back. So hope you missed me. If you have no idea who I am or why I popped up on your feed, maybe you'll subscribe and be one of the 4,800 plus people that have done so already. Thank you to each and every one of you. And soon we'll begin a campaign to 5,000. But I wanted to spend tonight's video getting ramped back up to produce new content for you guys on the channel. The thing that brought me back, unfortunately, is the thing that's nearest and dearest to my heart, which is Halo. And it's been a rough couple of weeks for us Halo fans, and it seems like it may finally have gotten as bad as possible. You've probably heard the saying before, it has to get worse before it gets better. I don't see how it could get any worse than now. Uh, it goes back a couple weeks to 343 announcing that they were going to remove cooperative gameplay. Now, gamers, and not just gamers, but society, we have a very fickle memory. I can almost guarantee in the last year or two, you've probably bought a pair of Firestone tires. You've probably flown on a Boeing airplane. And you've probably played a game by Electronic Arts. These are all things that people have sworn off before. Recall the major Firestone recall years and years ago with Ford Motor Vehicles. We had the Boeing, uh, the pair of Boeing crashes in which Boeing stock plummeted radically. They made a documentary about it on Netflix, but people are still flying their planes. And of course, Electronic Arts, the worst game company in America who continues to make okay games of which are readily available on Game Pass and other streaming services, which you've probably played. I say all this to indicate that gamers have a very short memory when it comes to these things. Where really, where the major milestones in the gaming career, gaming culture and people's careers really start to form are the things people remember the most. I suspect Bonnie Ross's speech talking about how she will always promise that Halo games will have cooperative multiplayer. The year that Microsoft and 343 essentially fell on the sword and said that they were apologetic for what happened during Halo 5 Guardians and the launch of Master Chief Collection will probably be her defining moment in her career, not her spearheading 343 and taking the reins and making a wildly successful, at least in my opinion, departure from the original trilogy of games of the Master Chief moving on to Halo 4. I don't think people remember the extensive development that occurred during Halo 5 Guardians with their roadmap and regular content drops that were happening and the inclusion of the requisition system and a lot of really cool Spartan customization. I think those things will be largely forgotten. Um, but I think everyone will remember her for what she said, which is unfortunate because I think it ultimately led to her demise um, under the veil of, in my opinion, being asked to leave, um, you know, saying, citing some family issues. Bonnie Ross has finally stepped down from 343, and it seems a lot of people are following behind her. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> and if you actually go on the 343 website today, and look for careers, you will find that none are posted, which just a week or two ago, many were. So what happened? Well, companies probably stopping licking their wounds and reassessing. It's gonna be a major culture change there, especially when your lead person is gone. You're gonna have a brand new infrastructure put in. You're gonna have a brand new regime. And it's gonna take time to get better. I wish I could say that the fact that Bonnie Ross left uh, would be a wonderful thing for all of us. And I think in the long term, it will be. But in the short term, it is not. In the short term, we are going to have a lot of confusion, a lot of role reorganization, a lot of questions on why we got to where we got to. And that you're already starting to see. You saw the uh, news as well that season two has extended even further. And you saw the news that a lot of features we expected to see have been delayed again or are not coming anytime soon or released in some sort of beta format. These are all not good things. And it's sad, but I understand it. Somebody who works in business who deals with this type of radical sweeping change from time to time, you can clearly see where the team is going to basically circle the wagons spend some time and start from essentially scratch. 
If the rumors are true and 343 did hire a significant number of contractors in order to help them meet some of those crunches that they had, well, unfortunately, all of that tribal knowledge is left with said contractors, and they're going to have to spend significant time basically understanding what they have to date, which I think is largely confirmed true considering the lack of great innovation over the last year, considering that a lot of simple features take a significant amount of time to fix. I think it's because that while hard work was done on the game by various contractors, the documentation did not follow. And as a result, it's hard to go back and live in some sort of sustainment or some sort of repairability mode when you don't even know what was written. And I can only imagine the lines of code that go into a game like Halo Infinite and the infinite, <laughs> you know, pun intended, of course, number of modules from user interface to sound design to net code to graphics and all these other pieces of game that were probably farmed out in bite-sized chunks so that contractors could complete said work in a reasonable time and get their check and move on to the next project. All this is to say that 343, I think, is probably the worst it's ever been. And if, if this is the time for Microsoft to finally step in and pull the plug, it's now. I don't think that's going to happen, and I think the opportunity for that has potentially passed. It will be interesting to see in the coming months what 343 is willing to announce. I suspect the major announcements we have heard for the game are that Yes, we are going to get a season three, and yes, we are going to get this limited time holiday event. I don't think you're going to hear much between now and then. I know they're starting to drip feed a little bit of stuff in Forge, but let's be honest, based on the amount of links and code cracking and all the other wonderful things that hackers have been able to figure out in the game, we know those features largely to be implemented in live today. 343 is just putting the last little bit of finesse and polish on them, and I suspect drip feeding this news out because it's the only news they're going to be sharing for a very long time. And I think that's to say that we're going to be kind of stuck for a while. I think you're going to see a potential renaissance in about a year or so is when I would expect to see something realistically start to turn around, potentially for the game. Think back to the launch of MCC and how long it took for the game there to finally gain some footing and become a masterpiece that I would argue is one of the best franchise collections that exist with lots of cosmetics and challenges and fun things to do and putting a fun coat of paint on an old classic or in this case classics. So that is to say that I think um, it can be done. You can go back and fix your wrongs. You can go back and make a good game that started off a little turbulent. Destiny 2, phenomenal example, a game that I think a lot of us played at launch and it wasn't kind of what we expected and Destiny, or Bungie actually admits this and it's actually a phenomenal game. I play it almost every day now and I'm absolutely in love with it again. I could be in love with Halo Infinite again. I think a lot of us could. I think we're just waiting for that great thing. And until that great thing happens, this will be the last time I talk about Infinite on this channel for a very long time to come. I think that uh, I've just grown tired of bashing my absolute favorite franchise ever. And the reality is there's just not much left to say. The game has been used up. The fan base has been used up. And I think we're all frankly sick and tired of it. And I think in a lot of ways, we somewhat celebrated Bonnie Ross's departure as finally something new for once. Maybe it's going to be more of the same. Maybe it's going to be even worse. But I think we can all collectively agree that under the previous leadership, the game was not delivering. So here's to something exciting in the future, Halo. I'll continue to buy your merchandise. I'll continue to read your books. And I'll continue to play you for some of those challenges that I really want. But what I won't do is advertise or promote anything you guys are doing because you're going to have to earn back my trust. And I suspect the trust of a lot of other gamers at this point. There are a lot of great games coming in the horizon. There are other, a lot of great fish in the sea. The aforementioned Destiny 2 continues to be an amazing experience. I am incredibly excited to start talking and playing more Modern Warfare with you guys when Modern Warfare 2 beta goes live. And I'm really, really excited for the horizon of some of these great games highlighted in Nintendo's Direct and in the PlayStation State of Play that we saw a couple weeks ago. 
So expect more fun things from my channel. Just expect this Halo video to kind of cement my legacy in what I considered one of the greatest failures of all time. And I hope that one day I can revisit this franchise with all of you in a very, very different tone. With that, I'm wrapping up this video. Leave some comments below. Let me know your thoughts. And that's it for today. I'll be back again later in the week to talk about something other than Halo. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.